Hello and welcome to World of Warships, Journey to Tier 10, North American Server Edition with the Vlog here Taku. Well, I thought that since it's at least been a month since I've done one of these, I might as well get another one in the can, even if it's probably going to be an hour long. And, well, we have now gone beyond patch 0.7.5. I now have my first proper tier 7 ship, the Japanese tier 7 cruiser Miyoko. And as you can probably note down here, I now have, very strangely, two American cruisers. And, well, right, I do have the Pensacola selected, so what I'm going to do is if it loads up go into the tech tree because originally the Cleveland which is now a tier 8 cruiser originally used to be the tier 6 cruiser the Pensacola was 7 the New Orleans was 8 and the Baltimore was 9 and we didn't have the Buffalo which was actually added in with patch 0.7.5 but what has actually happened is I was able to unlock the Cleveland when it was at tier 6 about two days before I well two days about two or so days before 0.7.5 so when it went live, what I ended up, what happened was, I got a Cleveland at tier 8, with a 6 point captain for it. I got a Pensacola, because I'd already, I'd already XP, I'd already get, gotten the XP and acquired the Cleveland. So I was gifted the Pensacola for nothing. The 10 point captain that I had on the Cleveland has been moved over to the Pensacola. And all I have to do is get through this disaster just to get to the New Orleans, which is now the tier 7. But that isn't the only thing I'm working on because if I go over to the combat missions. There is this mission, the Indianapolis Marathon. You need to complete 21, and that is out of, I think, 26 combat missions. I've already completed one from the weekend marathon, although I, they had two. One was to sell ships eight times. The other one was to hit ships with the main battery guns a thousand times, and unfortunately I wasn't able to complete that one, but I managed to complete today's Indianapolis Marathon mission very quickly. In fact, it only took me one go, and that was to actually be in a battle and be at least minimum third on the team by experience. But what this is going to do, is give me the Indianapolis, plus a commander with six skill points. And this is going to be Bonza Bonus for Operation Hermes, because Indianapolis is a tier 7 American cruiser. And what we need for Operation Hermes is either a tier 7 British, French, or American cruiser or a tier 7 or 8 French battleship. So this is going to... So if I can get another 19 of these missions completed, that means some of the... stress of actually having to get this up to tier... Up, get this to go through, oh, uh, click modules, you dumb schmuck. 
because I have to get 9,800 XP to research the bee hull. I then have to get another 70,000 XP to get to the New Orleans, and I'm missing out the gunfire control system because it's quite frankly not necessary because all I'm doing is going through the ships to actually get to tier 7 and well to Cleveland well I'm probably gonna keep that but is it going out on the seas that much the same is said for my little touchy Lima. Little tier 2 Japanese destroyer. And for the guns, two dual tube launchers and a top speed of 30 knots. Yeah, and <laughs> crappy guns. Yeah. Five guns in single banks. 76 mils. They fire out to eight kilometers. Ah, this is not what we're here for. We are still chasing the Hermes dream. And number one on the list is the good old Emerald. So, let's drop some camo on this and hit the battle button. The good thing is we're down at tier 5, which means we won't be going into the Cleveland disaster at the higher tiers. Because everyone's trying out their Cleveland. There have been a few. Dis there have been a few people saying that there's at least. That there's at least. Well, when it ever, when the patch came out, there was over a hundred people waiting. Uh oh. Well, okay. Try the map. Standard battle. Who do we have? It's ah uh, tier seven max. Ugh. And I'm only firing armor piercing. Right. So we've got group in the middle, group at the far end, and me. So I am going to quickly behind the lady Time to seal some clubs. Right. Oh! That's the Atlanta. And... We got a Pepsi Cola ring coming. Ah, mass. Fire the guns. Do we have no?
へえ地底の目標に攻撃を集中スクールスモークを展開ソナー。Again, right, shots out. Oh, and the mass is history. Yeah, I think, I think it was a good idea to bug out of that map battle. Because the knife now has just appeared. Battleship Camping Society is going to uh, insist on sitting in the freaking cat circle all the time. Uh, right. Do we have... Good, we have range on the night now. Shots out. Bouncing. Right, I've got his attention. And I've got one penetrating hit. Uh, shadow, no pen, and bounces. Right. Next salvo out. A couple are going to hit the island. Back up to three quarters. And we've lost the Atlanta. Algier and the Koenig right behind. Come 
being spotted by the Yakatsuki on the enemy team. Let's go full. Right, I'm not being spotted. Probably meet at the night. Yep, spotted now. Night now is in range. Turn, turn. Come on. And we got the LG yeah, coming in from there. Right. I'm not even bother go I'm not even gonna bother waiting. I know that's gonna be a defeat. Yes, thank you. Load up the bloody menu. Uh, right, so next one. Uh, load up the retang. Ocean sold again. Oh, tried it again. <sighs> All right. Ah, tier six maximum. That seems to be very uh, right. So we've got two New Mexicos, New York, me, and October Revolution. Two Petacolas, Gross Bay. A glance at Atahara, a fusion, a fusion, and a Nicholas. system online. I don't think I'm going to pay attention to square C1. Right, so let's see. Okay. Oh, hello! It's lemming train time! Okay. And... Drop it down to one quarter to make the turn. Right, and I'm detected. Which means there has to be something within 14.8 kilometers with direct line of sight. And I really wish one of those destroyers actually, uh... Oh, 
that's who has to be spotted, Farragut. Oh, I really wish these French battleships didn't have so much many problems with freaking slow turning turrets. Oh, we got a guider as well. Oh, and yeah. Penetrations, nine and a half K damage. Oh, and those torpedoes ran out of steam. Right, seven, four, three, two, one. Shots out again on the ID. On Duke. And uh, there they are, and. Oh, one over pen, two bounces. Wait. Floating citadel detected, broadside on. All hands, load the hike, load the armor piercing. Shots out. And I don't think I've led them enough. Nope. Yep, in the water behind. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And another salvo. I can't see the ship because it's... Ooh, 4k damage, single penetrating hit by over Oh, goody. He's in the turn, so all of these are going to miss. Right, so let's start turning in, and let's start chasing this lot down. Uh, yep. Right, I'm going to turn in to get the maximum number. Hit one bounce. Right, let's start moving in. Good, Graf Spey is down. Shots out on the new Max. And we got a Farragut coming in. Uh, 
and the guider. is hang on one two three four five Battleship that's traveling 20 knots. Come on, turn the guns and another defeat. feet as well. Uh. Right, let's have a look at the Emerald one. Yep, 18,720 damage, one ship spotted, 35 hits on target. 68,784 credits, 934 experience, 47 free experience. middle of the pack. Most of my damage is on the knife now. Uh, at least the modifiers from the camo meant that I at least didn't end up losing too much. Right, let's have a look at the results from the Batang. Uh, 55, 11, 11, 113, 634, XP, 32, 3 XP, 25,045 damage, 16 hits on target, and the ship spotted. Fifth on the team. Most of the damage was to the Iron Duke, who survived. Oh. oh, let's try this one again. Ah. <sighs> 
big price. Mm, right, so top tier. Head down the left side, probably catch a few DDs unaware. Can't see any smoke from the stacks. Everybody else is at least moving. And we already have our first two spots down at the far end. I'm going to quickly dive down here and... I think the Kuma is actually... <laughs> Don't leave me, Emerald! <laughs> right, that Phoenix is going to be creeping into... Oh! And... I think we got a destroyer spot there. And... That guy's moving slow, so... Hehehe! <laughs> Right, light damage. Shots out on the geyser. Right. Yep, 
Hail Mary drops, but... <laughs> The camera goes, you're a handy little smoke screen. Uh, so, what's the damage? Me and our two Phoenix class cruisers are down. They've lost a destroyer. I know I'm hard to phoenixes. And I think the majority of the team is actually down this end of the map. Alright. I'm actually going to stay around for this. Steam. And my smoke's run out. Oh. I like to know what the heck that foot liner is aiming at. I do not see any enemy ships in that quadrant. Oh. Natsuki. Our Isakate just got a nice little, uh, received a high explosive care package from the enemy Yorick. Or Kirov, I mean. Who is all in himself getting a very nice pummeling. Although I think a few of those from torpedoes. Yep. And he's burning. about to burn to death. Yeah, well, oh, 171 health. And was very promptly polished off by our Koenig. So I think all we've got around here is the Kaiser, the Phoenix, the New York. Yogi the Congo and the Great Creon. Well, our Kamikaze R is definitely making a play of it. Ah, uh, well that's Svetlana is. Oh yeah. Impact. I think that New York is gonna chew on some. One, two. Yep. Take one in the nose. And there goes the Svet 
Lana. Kamikaze Yara is trying its luck again. And I think he might get lucky. We have one, two, and three. The Phoenix has just run out of friends. One more salvo. Yep. Yep, so all they've got is the kite that it's well around here somewhere. Oh, the Phoenix got off torps. The Phoenix got off torps before it died and uh, our hero, Captain Smoke and the Kamikaze Yard bought it. Definitely going to miss those second and third ones. Maybe depending on the range. And I think she actually has the range. We have one. Ooh. out to the far end, far reach of the map. Oh. Get the right key. Yep, this geyser is burning nicely. There's a very nice barbecue going on on the bridge. And at the aft. <laughs> and the ice cars, they claimed it for the fires. Yep. So now all we have is this lone Congo. Another person who's having range issues. Yep. Right, that Congo is burning, and I don't think he's going to be putting that out anytime soon. And now he's dead. <laughs> so, what scores on the doors, Bob? A very healthy performance. 87,305 credits, 2,291 XP, 115 free XP. 23,996 damage, 13 hits with the main battery guns, 3 torpedoes, 1 hit with <laughs> one hit with the secondaries, 1 ship destroyed, and 2 floodings. <laughs> Both to that phoenix. Middle table. Yeah. 
Captain Smoke in the Kamikaze ER got the uh, second place. <laughs> Uh, yeah, devastating strike. Top was our surviving division player in the Koenig, who ended up with a Dreadnought Award, Confederate, and I Caliber. Last username left. <laughs> yeah. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm going to compliment that Kamikaze R player. Wingnut. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was the Phoenix who took out our Kamikaze R. Oops. Going to have to go back to that. Let's try that again to the detailed report. Yep, 18,041 on the Phoenix. Yep, only 2,280 for the main battery guns, but three torpedo hits with 15,538 damage. Okay, yeah, well, at least the amount from the modifiers actually went towards the cost of servicing the ship and resupplying all the ammunition. You know, I probably didn't use much. Uh, so, we now have 30,737. You know what? Uh, right, let's have a look down here. Right, I uh, don't have anything there for those. Fuso is fully loaded out, as is Aoba. Fubuki. I could get the B hull. And probably still have enough free XP left to do the Type 8 Mod 2 torpedoes. But. Right, all about the Ratang, uh, 34515. Still a ways away from the Normandy at tier 6, so... Right, this is what I am going to do! Research Leander for 30,737 XP and 5,763 free XP! Purchase the ship without a commander for 2.8 million. Right, assign this commander to Leander. Uh, do basic training. Go back into port and sell sell with all modules 802,000 credits <sighs> yep, she looks more well armed than the bloody emerald although I did have a few good matches in the emerald so, yeah, with this, now get now having the tier 6 British cruiser, I am now going to put this little thing, little, this short 
run to an end. So, this is Bloody Otaku signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you later.